Hey folks, it's Mike coming to you from Vought RV here in Fort Worth. Today I'm looking forward to showing off a Jayco Eagle 355 MBQS, that's mid bunk quad slide. Before I get started, let me show off my top three favorite things about this model. Number one, now we have a Diflex Generation 3 roofing membrane with a 20 year warranty. Number two, we have a smart TV with an Amazon Fire remote already wired in with an HDMI cable. And number three, check this out. We have a bonus room, which is either a bunk room or an office or both. Okay, now we're on the outside of this 355 MBQS. We're about 13,000 pounds dry weight, 15,000 pounds fully loaded, right at 42 feet long. So this is kind of a big guy. If you're not sure you can tow it safely, give us a call so we can look up your truck. You're going to be looking at something like an F-250 or a 2500, 3500 even better yet. But again, if in doubt, give us a call, we'll look it up. Now, a lot of the features on this are gonna be consistent with other Eagles, but I'm gonna point them out in case this is the first video you're watching from us. Cavernous storage under here, pass-through storage. Check this out, there's a lot of room in here. We have this diamond plating on the floor, and notice we don't have wires dangling down up here. It's all clean storage area. I have motion sensor lights in here that'll pop on when you have your arms full of stuff, and they usually are. Easy to store things in here and it's nicely lighted. We have both power and coax cable, so you can put a TV down here if you want to. Over on this side, you'll see this platform. This is an uh, uh, assembly that goes into the J-port, so you can have a blackstone griddle or a grill. And then right here, we have access to a propane bottle on this side of the unit. There's another propane bottle on the utility side. Now we've got lots of storage under here. Here's where your batteries would go. If you wanted to add a generator, this would where it would be added. This particular unit's not gen prepped, but you can still add a generator if you so choose. And again, again, our propane bottle on the opposite side and then what I call our utility bay. Now we have pass-through storage again and right here to the left is where we have our auto leveling uh, panel and our battery disconnect right next to it. Now you can also control your auto level from the BM Pro system on the inside and also on your phone. So you can put the app on your phone and control those functions from your phone. We'll talk about that a little bit more when we get inside. Now this is your utility area, all nicely labeled. So this takes the guesswork on how to hook this unit up. Maybe it's the first time you've owned a fifth wheel or an RV. Just follow this guide right here. If you're gonna sanitize your system, fill the tanks, dry camping, just uh, operate these just the way the key indicates here. And these are your, your holding tank valves, two for gray, one for black, nicely labeled. Water heater bypass up here, so when it comes time to winterize the unit, it's easy to bypass your water heater. Now we have a quick connect hot and cold spray port up here. So if you wanna wash off those sandy feet at the beach or maybe your pet or whatever, pop it in there and you can do that. We have a six gallon direct spark ignition water heater here. Anode rod is out, tells me it's been winterized. Furnace vent right there. Now, all of the walls on Jayco fifth wheel products are vacuum bonded. That's significant. 144 tons of vacuum for 16 minutes means that this is a really stout wall assembly. Think of it as a giant food saver for a, an RV wall. What's that mean to you? It means that the chances of this becoming delaminated over time are minuscule. It's a really neat thing that Jayco does. It's a slow, tedious process, but you're the ending beneficiary of it because of the quality. What's behind door number three, you ask? Well, let's look. It's actually access to our residential refrigerator on the inside. This is neat because you have access to get behind here should a technician ever need to do that, or for winterizing. You don't have to pull the fridge out from the inside. You can access it from the outside. I like that feature. Detachable 50 amp power cord, 
Now something that's now standard is the towing package. So we have a 3,000 pound tow rating. I can pull a small boat or an ATV or something like that behind here if your state regulations allow it. Even if they don't, you can at least put a cargo carrier back here, firewood, smoker grill, that kind of thing. Now we've got a rear view camera already installed on this. So you have a, it's a nice safety feature and when you're backing into a site, gives you the chance to look back, make sure you're backing in safely. Now in this unit, we've got two awnings. So Brian, if you can pan across this whole site, it's so windy out here, I didn't want to put the awnings out, but I have a lot of patio covered space here. We're about 42 feet long on this coach, most of which is covered by awnings. This is, of course, what I call the fun side of the RV. This is where the picnic table is. This is where the cooking happens. This is where the picking party happens. Everything fun happens on this side. We have all this covered. So I like it that the awning mount is on the slide itself and then our larger awning up here. So between the two of them, I have a lot of covered patio space. Pop this up to reveal a little kitchen area with our drink refrigerator here. I have power and light switches in here, and then a utility utensil drawer here. And then right here is this J port in which I can put that platform and then have our little cooktop up here, which comes with this unit. So you have a little cooktop right here, or you might opt for a griddle, a grill, or that kind of thing. But you've got it right here, all under the awning. There's an LED light strip under each one of the awnings. And right here's a light switch that casts a nice blue light underneath the steps here. So at night, it's a safety feature, helps getting in and out of the coach. We have JBL speakers here. This is, uh, this is key. So inside we have a JBL sound system, which is a bona fide sound system. It's not junk. These are good quality speakers. It's a good quality sound system on the inside. Now these are Moride step above steps. They're what I call zero gravity because once you lift it up to about this point, it won't come crashing down on your head. It's a safety feature. Each one of these legs is adjustable simply by pushing in here and you can move this up and down. Pop it up in here for travel and then when it's time to deploy the steps, simply pull it down. I really like these steps and this extension grab bar. So even if you don't have hip or knee problems, it's just nice to be able to grab that and go in and out of the coach. So with that, let's go inside and have a look. Okay, folks, now we're inside of this 355 MBQS. This has a lot to offer, especially if you want to sleep a lot of folks. Maybe you have guests that want to travel with you. Now, this coach will sleep 8 to 11 people. Whether or not you disclose that is your business. You can tell everybody it sleeps two, entertains four, feeds six. We'll see you tomorrow night. But in fact, it does sleep eight to 11 folks because this sofa here folds out to accommodate two comfortable sleeping positions. I've got a king bed up front and I've got my bunk room with the loft above. So all those together, eight to 11 people. Now we have the living room area here. Again, nice sofa. Right across from these comfortable recliners is my entertainment center and fireplace. These are reclinable, they're manual. If you want automatic, powered, heated, massage, then you're gonna need to move up to the North Pointer Pinnacle. Just pull up on this little tab here and now we have recliners on both of these. Little place to store your remotes here and of course cup holders. Pop this back in like so and Again, right across from the entertainment center. I can't brag about the JBL sound system enough. This is a great upgrade that Jayco's providing. There's three zones. A are these two speakers here, which are good JBL speakers. B are the speakers that are mounted in the ceiling. And C is the zone that's outside on the patio. Now you can push music through all through three of those zones if you want to. And you can stream music from your phone through this system as well. Now this is not just a neat looking fireplace, it's a heater, it's a fancy space heater. So this will in fact knock the chill off of this unit. 
pretty readily on uh, you know 50 degree night or whatever so it's a fancy space heater so if you paid your 40 or 50 or 60 bucks a night you might as well use the, the campground power source rather than your own propane to heat this now as i mentioned earlier this is a smart tv we're already pre-wired with an hdmi cable up here so you can stream uh, content, mirror your phone to this TV, and meet all of your entertainment needs that way. Roller shades throughout. So these are soft close roller shades. Just give it a tug and up it goes. Complete dark out, black out roller shades. We have some nice storage above here with smoked glass inserts. Now, notice this little uh, tag up here, 40% quieter. Well, what's that mean? This is a, a helix system on the way the ductwork runs in a Jayco. Instead of making right angle turns with the ductwork, it's a helix system. There's less resistant, which means it's quieter. So this is a whisper quiet unit. These are the returns, and this is where your cold air is coming out. So even on high, this can be running on high, and you can still be watching TV, have a conversation with the folks you're with. Now moving into the galley area, this is a, a dry erase board that you can you know, write your to-do list or what we're gonna do on our trip. Just simply pull it, it's got a strong magnet catch on it, and the light comes on automatically. All of these shelves are adjustable. You can take them all out if you want to, or just have two in there, depending on what you're wanting to store inside. Jayco's famous for their cabinet build, and it's on display here. All of the cabinet facings are solid maple, full extension drawer glides with ball bearing drawer glides. I really like that. Also up here, nice microwave, three burner cooktop, and a modest size little oven below have our backlit controls right here and our oven and then on the bottom is a storage drawer I have four drawers beside that for utensils and so on if I open up this drawer underneath our island you can see a five gallon water bottle that five gallon water bottle serves this spigot right here so you're drinking and cooking purified water you can swap that bottle out at a big box store costco sam's whatever if you have a crystal springs account they may bring it to you or you can bring an extra one with you point being you're cooking and drinking purified water that way you don't have to fill up this refrigerator with bottles of water you've got purified water under the sink now this water is coming from your water supply outside. This unit has a whole house water filter, so all the water coming in here is filtered. But again, you're cooking and drinking that water. We have inserts here. This is a bamboo uh, insert for cutting board, and this just rolls up. It's a strainer, a drying strainer, so you can dry things here or put it up here to protect the countertop. Now, if you want to have a blender or a coffee maker, simply push down to release this and pull it up, and we have a charging power stick here. So I have two household current outlets as well as two USB uh, connections right here for your smart devices. Release it right here, pop it down for travel. Now behind me I have a nice, uh, I almost called that a TV. This is not a TV, this is a refrigerator. Whirlpool, you can buy this same Whirlpool at uh, Lowe's or wherever this afternoon. It's a residential refrigerator. So how is it getting its power when you're going down the road? You have an inverter on board here. It's an 1800 watt pure sine wave inverter. So that's sending power to this unit. It's also sending power to the outlets next to the bed, the TV, and I believe this power stick. So if you pull over halfway to your destination, turn the truck off, want to come in here, this continues to run as do the outlets next to the bed. So you can take a nap if you have a CPAP machine or something, and those outlets are going to remain active even with your truck off. So freezer compartment below with an ice maker, and it's working, it's really cold. And then our refrigerator, double door refrigerator, up here on the top. See this little smart temp sensor right here? I can monitor the temperature of this uh, refrigerator going down the road with the app on your phone. 
you can actually control everything on this unit from the app on your phone, including temperature checking on your uh, refrigerator and tire pressure and things like that. I'll show you that in a minute. Now, one thing I like about this unit that is different than the 357 MDOK, which was a previous bunk model, mid bunk model, is that on that previous model, you entered the bunk room here and you lost all of this storage. Now on this 355, look what we get. Since the door goes straight into the bunk room, I get this, uh, I call this like a coffee bar area. So I get all this storage here. I get the storage above. Then I have this area and I have outlets both here, USB, and 110 over here. So I can put a coffee maker, blender, whatever up here with my light right below it. I'm gaining all this storage and then of course I'm gaining this area here which is basically like a pantry. And this is neat too. If I want to pop this up and then hang uh, jackets and hats and so on in here and put shoes, this is a great kind of coat closet. But if you'd rather store dry goods and that kind of thing, pop that shelf down and you've got that area to do that right there and then above more storage so as you can see with this 355 you really do gain a lot of storage over what the 357 model used to be coming around to the other side we have a table and chairs now this unit has two chairs here and this ottoman which also has storage in it so you can put, uh, you know, the dog toys and the extra blankets and extra shoes, camping gear, whatever in there. I can pull it out in there in the middle and it can become a coffee table, use it to play cards on or whatever. And there's two more chairs under the bed up front. They're folding chairs that are going to be upholstered just like these. So I can have four traditional chairs around this and pull this out in the middle for, like I said, coffee table ottoman. Now if I want to extend this out, lift this up, and now I have room, more room to put four folks around here. Heck, you could probably put six people around this table. It's that big. There's kind of some bonus secret storage under here too for games, pens, pencils, maps. I like that. Nice light fixtures. What key is that, Brian? About a C? Maybe a D. I don't know. I'll bring my guitar next time. Yep, they're glass and uh, very nice, classy. So, neat galley area. Up here we have our uh, propane, our gas and carbon monoxide detector. Right next to it we have our breakers and then our 12 volt fuses. They're all labeled here. So if you have an issue with power not going to some component, the first place you're going to want to check is all these breakers and fuses. Now moving toward the back, here's this BM Pro system I was telling you about. If you put this app on your phone, the BM Pro app, I can do everything from my phone that you can do right here. This is an Android tablet. Um, I can control the climate, the lighting, all of our motors, check our tank levels and energy. I can check the uh, temperature of the refrigerator. I can check the pressure in the tires, everything right here. The app on your phone is going to look just like this. So if I go to climate, my main AC, cool and my fan speed, go to my second AC, same drill. If I go to the motors, I can control our leveling jacks, I can control our slides, our awnings are all controlled on this. Uh, and then the lighting features neat. So if I wanna dim the lights, I simply just drag it over to dim the lights or pull it back. And I can do each one of them individually. Neat stuff. This is the switch, uh, toggle switch for the ceiling fan back there. Just turn it on and off right here. Um, again, if you're using the fireplace, put that on low and it keeps the air circulated nicely. And of course, if you watch my videos by now, you know what is this thing. It is, of course, the grenade launcher for security. Not really. It's a thermistor. It's sampling the air temperature, sending that information up here so that you can keep the climate controlled at the temperature you want. And yes, there's more. You get a clock with this unit, customized from Jayco, Middlebury, Indiana. Batteries included. Now, step into my office. 
or bunk room, or bonus room, or guest room, or craft room. I had a lady buy this one time. This was going to be her sewing room. So I have a little work area here. It's pretty shallow, but enough to put a laptop. If you want to put a monitor or a TV up here, and then that becomes your monitor. It's what a lot of folks do. It's designed with a backer area right here, so you can mount a flat panel here, have your laptop, cast some entertainment to it, watch TV, or do your work. I've got both coax cable here, 12 volt and 120 um, power source right here. So it's a little work area here. I've got three nice drawers and the always necessary top junk drawer for all the, <laughs> where all the junk ends up. Now behind me, I have a bunk, which uh, is for a small human, okay, kids maybe. There's a window behind it. Now, if you want to take this whole top bunk assembly out of here, it's pretty easy to do. It's just taking that bracket off that side and this side, and the whole thing would lift out. You can pop it up here to get it out of the way and then just have this for the kids to sit in here and watch a movie or close that door. Maybe you want to do a Zoom call if you're working from home. You've got some privacy in here. I've got lights over here as well. Now this is a trifold, so if you want to convert this into a sleeping surface, you just get rid of these two cushions, lift up the bottom, pull it out and extend the legs. And now we have another bed. So certainly one person can sleep on this. Two, if you really like each other. I'm six feet tall, so yeah, I would sleep here. So it's not a huge bed, but again, couple kids could sleep there. If you have a guest joining you for the weekend, they could sleep there. Make sure you put that up first. Pop this in, put the legs in, put the cushions back. Pretty easy. So there's a lot of different ways you can use this space, but wait, they say there's more. I have a loft up here that I'm gonna show you. Take a couple steps up the stairway here, and I have all of this space up here. Kids just love this area, okay? Not a lot of headroom, but if you're a kiddo or a couple kiddos, they're probably going to love to hang out up here. If you don't, or the kids are going to sleep down there, it's a great storage area. So put some clear plastic tubs. Great way to have some what I might call attic storage up here little ladder here pops out to make it easy for the kids to get up in there. Now, ch check out this bathroom. It's pretty nice. I have a porcelain foot flush toilet. Quite a bit of deep storage that goes all the way to the wall. A lot of people will comment and say, gosh, it's not really very handy to get back in there. Point taken it is, but at least Jacob's giving you all of that storage area for linens, towels, and that sort of thing. I'm six feet tall, plenty of room in here for me. Got storage under here, an undermount sink here. Let me know what you think about this color. It's starting to grow on me, okay? So a lot of folks will come to me and say, I wish that women would design these and women that camped. You're in luck. Stacy Stewart is the lead designer at Jayco. She is a female and she does camp. So she's responsible for this blue color. Drop a comment below if you would. I'm really curious to hear what you think about it, what you think about this blue color. Medicine cabinet that's backlit behind it. Speaking of dropping comments below, I would love it if you take just a second and click like and subscribe below. We work really hard to bring these videos to you. Um, I know we're not perfect. I'm sure I make mistakes, we all do, but we hope that you're benefiting from, this, from these. And if you do, drop a like and subscribe below. I appreciate it. Now, stepping into the shower, I have a little seat here, so, Easy for women to shave their legs. Maybe you want to sit down in here and there's plenty of room to do that with our shower nozzle up here, our surround. And I'm six feet tall. You could be quite a bit taller and still have plenty of room to maneuver in here. Three panel uh, glass shower enclosure here. 
very classy. When you close it, there's a little keeper right here. You want to make sure you drop down so that that doesn't slide open and close during travel. One of my other favorite things about this is this fan assembly up here. I'm turning it on and off here. What's neat about it, you don't have to put a typical vent cover on this. You can uh, leave this fan on and it can't rain in by the way it's designed. Other units, you might have to put a, a max air vent cover in order to leave it open and get some ventilation. The way this is designed, it can't rain in. I really like that. Moving up into the bedroom area, I spy a king bed. Uh, really popular king beds these days. A lot of folks have king beds at home, like we do. It's kind of nice to have a king bed when you're out RVing too, and we have one here. All Jayco fifth wheels are CPAP friendly, you might say. There's 110 power on either side of the bed. And again, those outlets remain active even if you're parked on the side of the road or at a rest area on the way and you want to come back here and catch a few winks. Those outlets stay active so a CPAP machine can run. You can charge your phone, whatever. Two lights above here and then I have storage under the bed. So if I lift this up, it's on guest struts. Super easy to lift up. I have my two uh, chairs, folding chairs. This is the cooktop that goes into that insert outside. So you already get uh, a grill that goes with this. And then your backup camera monitor is under here as well. That's how you're gonna monitor your uh, uh, cameras when you're going down the road with this monitor. And then what else do we have under here is our quick connect spray port for your outdoor, basically your outdoor shower. You can rinse your legs off and that kind of thing right there. Plywood, it's not OSB or particle board. Every Jayco is going to have plywood bed decks under the floor and in the roofing structure. Okay. Now, if you wanted to add a washer dryer, this is washer dryer prepped. These shelves would come out and this will accommodate a combo washer dryer. Either way, you have this storage above. A motion sensor light that just popped on in our closet. So I have shelves over here to the left. Great place for shoes in the back and hanging clothes here. This is the only carpet you're gonna find in this unit is a little bit on the side and in the closet. Jayco's removed all the carpet everywhere else. Then on this side, I have these shelves here. Uh, again, an obvious place if you don't want to put a CPAP machine on the floor, you can put it on the shelves here. Now, spinning around to the back side, I have some shallow drawers here, chest of drawers. So I've got three large drawers on the bottom. Again, full extension, ball bearing drawer glides, four drawers on the top and then a nice Insignia brand television. Jayco's using Insignia on all their units. That's a Best Buy brand. It's serviced by Best Buy. It's a quality TV. Now this one's not a smart TV. Uh, it's a high def TV, but it's not a smart TV. There's nothing magical about a TV that's in an RV and I get this question a lot. Can I put any TV in there? Yes, you can. You can buy another TV. Um, of your choosing and put up here. Maybe you would rather have a smart TV. It's got a universal mounting bracket back there. So if you wanted to put the one of your choosing, you can do that. This is on a bracket that comes out and angles around so you can have a viewing angle that works for you. And then up here, of course, I have our coax and uh, power supply up on top. So nice and roomy. Before I leave this area, you have also switches right here for ceiling lights, hall and entry, all interior and all exterior. So you watch the movie, you had your nightcap, you're tired, you come back here and you lay down. It's like, oh man, I forgot to turn the lights off or the lights are on outside. Reach up here and do it right here. Now remember, you can do it from your phone too. So Jayco makes it easy to do it from multiple locations both from your phone and the switches. And there's one right here behind cameraman Brian. So again, hall and entry ceiling. Now this has got slide controls here, slide extend, slide uh, retract. So you can uh, do that from this switch here. Now again, we're in the 355 MBQS. Uh, this is a pretty big guy with lots of room. 
Maybe you're gonna go full time, you're gonna take the family and tackle North America and you want comfortable place for the kids to sleep or another couple or guests. Or maybe you just, you and your wife need a lot of elbow room, this might be the answer. This is a Jayco Eagle. Again, just to recap, we're 13,000 pounds dry, about 15,000 fully loaded, about 42 feet long. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. We work hard to bring them to you. Give us a call, we'll get you hooked up with one of our great sales guys. And remember, we think that shopping for RVs should be just as fun as using them. My name's Mike, thanks for joining me. See you next time. Howdy everybody, thanks for joining me today. I hope you learned a thing or two from what I had to say. If you did and feel like it, then click subscribe below. And when I post a video, you'll be the first to know. See you next time.